Let's receive with a round of applause the coaches and the judge for this match. Por favor, recibamos con un fuerte aplauso a los entrenadores y al juez de este match. Time now for the compound men's team gold medal match. The coaches and the judges are out. Let's go down to the shooting line to meet the contenders. On target number one, representing the USA, Nick Cappers. James Lutz. And Sawyer Sullivan. On target number two, representing Colombia. En la pack number two, representando a Colombia, Sebastián Arenas. Pablo Gómez Zuluaga. Jagdeep Singh Mejía. Target number one. Y el juez and the judge and the judge line for this line for this match. Y el juez de línea para este match, José Luis Bernal. So another massive match up here. USA versus Colombia for the compound men's team gold medal at the Pan American Championships. USA lining up with uh, James Lutz, Sawyer Sullivan and Nick Cappers. Colombia with Sebastian Arenas, Pablo Gomez and Jack Deep Singh. You look at the world rankings, looks uh, 11, Sullivan 102, Kappas 180. Compared to uh, Colombia, Arianas 52, Gomez 60, Singh 29. Oh. You'd fancy the Colombians just on the average world ranking. The USA are some team and they will shoot first with the world number 102, 18-year-old Sawyer Sullivan. Yep. Yes, 10. Nueve, nine. Kappa's shooting in the middle. This is Jimmy Lutz. Yep. Nice. Yes, 10. So 29 out of a possible 30 for the USA, and we go through the first rotation for Colombia. So Singh going first, Gomez in the middle, Arianas shooting third. I think the wind is playing a bit of a part here. Looking down the range, I'm sure those flags looked a little bit left to right. And that angle on that arrow looked like it had been affected by the wind. Usually it should fly in the, into the target straight. A bit of movement there. Sorry, Nicky, go on. I, I cut over you then. A bit of movement, though, I saw from uh, Arianas. Yeah, just that middle arrow uh, shot on the right-hand target there for uh, Columbia. It was sort of leaning to the right. It was suggested it had been hit by the wind and pushed, pushed over in that direction. Yes, Seems to be a really quick team, these three. We know Lutz is an unorthodox puncher. He said how much that helped him through the qualification round here, but they had eight seconds yep. yes, extra on their clock at the end of the first rotation. Not going to struggle with time.
Two tens for Singh. Well, it looks like we're in for another corker here. Just one drop point from each of the teams through the first end. Anything in particular you're seeing here, Nikki? I mean, like you say, the, the Americans shooting very fast. It's a little bit slower from Colombia. Yeah, I think you know that's some of the main differences. You know, they can you can see them talking over there, what's going on? Perhaps a little bit of movement with the front on aiming. Um, but yeah, if you're going to punch, you're going to be much quicker as a team. It's pr perhaps less stress. Uh, if you've got lots of time left on the clock, whereas Columbia taking a little bit more time. Um, but you know, they're used to these 20 seconds. Uh, Archer. Oh, Gomez didn't look very happy with his second shot. Kind of walked straight off the line, turned away from it, but did go into the 10. Well, Nikki, uh, you've uh, talked about uh, punching quite a lot over this season, uh, but perhaps uh, some people might not know what punching is. Uh, can you briefly explain it? Uh, it's basically just setting your uh, self up on the on the gold and then deciding I am going to shoot this now and you know you see that thumb quickly go onto that trigger and off it goes rather than setting yourself up aiming and then just gently popping the thumb over the trigger and then just kind of squeezing it pushing and pulling and that makes a subconscious release so a little bit of a difference between the two but Lutz particularly talks about you know if you are punching in the wind quite right actually it can be easier but over time, it can be hard to maintain that technique. Well, as we know that uh, as a coach, you are, you favour the subconscious squeeze. That is true. Scores tied at 59 apiece. Just one drop point between these, uh, or from both of the teams, USA and Colombia. So we go into the second end of four usa to shoot first and up steps the 18 year old sawyer sullivan 2019 world youth champion yep. yes then Yes, Nick Cappers, 29 year old, just uh, with his first outdoor cap for the USA here in Santiago. Yep. Yes, then. Nine. Drop point for uh, Jagdeep Singh, part of the team that won the South American Games this year. Along with Gomez shooting in the middle. Long hold. He tends to be the, the, the one of the three that holds the longest. Um, tricky when you're shooting last. Well, that's why they would put him last, you see. You, you put your faster shooters in first, so if you want to take loads of time up, put them last. You don't put pressure on other people. Yep. Yes, then. 
you know, if you put your longest archer first, it would be awful for the others with perhaps not much time left. Ruby, nine. Twenty one twenty one world team champion, Jimmy Lutz. Yep. Yes. Yes. Ten. Very solid. Colombia need to be perfect here in this second rotation to stay level. Nine. can hear that wind picking up on the mics out on the field. Just a little bit of movement there. And you saw how close to the uh, countdown clock they were. Arenas just getting it in in time, but they've dropped a couple of points here. Uh, to the USA and that could be quite critical here not just because of the difference in the score but also in the motivation that it will give the USA Nikki. yeah two point advantage you know there's two more ends to go here but they could run away with it they could block Colombia out but we have got this bit of wind that's coming into the stadium and I think you know, that can change things up a little bit it's more possible, there's going to be more nines, so <laughs> we have to wait and see what happens. Pretty close to the wire there for Arenas, though. You're saying that you put your, your, uh, the archer that shoots the longest last, but the, the problem comes if you're running out of time, doesn't it? Yeah, but like I say, you don't want to put that pressure on everybody else, so you know, it's important that if you've got to take the longest time, generally you put them last because it's just up to them then to get the shot away. Well, we're at the halfway stage of this uh, compound men's team gold medal match. Uh, Colombia now trailing the USA by two points. A cumulative score, so the score continues to build up. But Colombia shooting first, uh, well, it's a, a double-edged sword, isn't it? Because uh, you can put the pressure on your opponent by shooting high scores, uh, but if you drop a point, it gives the opponents the opportunity to extend the lead. Finally poised here in Santiago. Well... Certainly camera savvy, the uh, USA team. They knew the cameras are pointing at them, giving everyone a thumbs up, staying very cool, calm and relaxed, but enjoying the moment as well. And often that can result in your best performance. They're just checking these targets are exactly on the line for 50 meters. So clearly they're getting shifted back by the arrows hitting them, right? Yeah, they are. I mean, these bows are going to be pushing that arrow out at around 300 feet a second. We'll need a couple of sandbags out there in Santiago. We're through the halfway stage here. Colombia trailing the USA 116 to 118. And it's Jagdeep Singh up on the shooting line for end number three. Straight into the 10 with a very confident looking shot too. It's another one of those shots where he didn't look happy walking off the line. 
No, I think he is shooting a hinge. He's putting his thumb on to draw up and then taking his thumb off. So it should be a fairly good subconscious shot. But all these guys just watching their thumbs, see what's happening, make these shots break. I find it interesting that some of the guys who are obviously punching are not using uh, slings on their front hand to tie themselves into the bow because because they're not getting that natural reaction. The bow's not flying forwards. They don't need it. They effectively grab it because you yes. know what's about to happen. See here, you've got that left hand free just to twist his peep sight. It's not quite in line, so twisting each time before he draws the boat. Nueve, nine. Watch that thumb. Yes, then. Yeah, fascinating. When, you, when you've got the level of archery that we've got here, where they're not going outside of uh, the gold ring, he's down to the minutia in the detail. That's why I'm so glad that you're here, Nikki. Thanks. <laughs> I knew there was a commentator's curse on what you just said. <laughs> we saw a bit of Bo Kondo there on that eight from Gomez. So there was a glimmer of hope with the nine from Kappas in the first rotation. The Columbia dropped two points in the second rotation. Oh, a bit of Bo Kondo there. Is wind starting to play a part here? There is a little bit of wind, I think, coming from left to right across. You can sort of see it. It's weird because those flags, it's not really showing that, but we have had some camera angles from behind the arches, which suggests there's a little bit left to right. So whether things are changeable, which is the worst Ready, thing nine. an archer wants. Well, a couple of nines there from the USA. Very good shots, obviously. Ready, nine. Another nine, and would you just look at that? A 174 plays 174, so Columbia there outscoring the USA by the two points that they were training and we're all square again obviously subject to the target judge checking uh, the arrows in the target but uh, there was nothing that looked uh, likely to uh, be changed on a measure I think that you were, you called it right at the beginning the wind starts to play a factor yeah, and it should, you know, work in the favour of these American guys who most, I think, at least two of them are punching. And you, you think that you'd be able to get your dot in the middle of that gold and punch it off and it'd be okay, but it seems to be affecting them. Official results after the third end. Resultados oficiales después de la tercera tirada. Ambos equipos se encuentran con el mismo puntaje, 174 puntos. Both teams are tied on 174 points. I was a little worried about my mass there when I saw 176 up on the Colombian side. Um, <laughs> but uh, that was quickly changed. There wasn't very much to mark up for Colombia because they got five tens and an eight, and the eight was very clear. Uh, so fortunately, um, even in my latter years, my maths was correct. And we are tied at 174 apiece going into the final end here. This is a tight one, but is the momentum now with Colombia? I think so, you know. America shooting those three nines, one each in that last pass. Uh, they're not going to be super confident, but they're going to put that behind them. 
come out and shoot as many tents as they can. Well, it will be the USA to shoot first, as they did at the beginning of the match, all square. Saw Sullivan taking a very big, deep breath just before stepping up to the shooting line. It's all down to these next 12 arrows. Yep. Yes, then. Definitely see that wind yep. flapping on the shirt. It's going to affect you a little bit. Yep. This. Then. Let's go. Well, that's the way to do it when you shoot first. Three tens. Pressure switches over to target number two. Ooh, that was close, but Jagdeep Singh puts it into the 10. He just doesn't look happy when he lets go, and then you get the shot, the target, and it's in the 10. <laughs> I think he's keen to get off that line as quick as possible, give his teammate enough time, because we know this guy takes that a little bit longer. Well, well, well. Three arrows left per team, one per archer, all square, USA, shooting first against Colombia for the zonal title. Yep. Yes. He's looked so solid. Bit of pressure on this one. Kappa's the least experienced on the USA team. Yep. Looks yes. solid into the 10. So, a perfect score for the USA, just when they need it. 234, the target set. Jagdeep Singh at full draw already. Oh. Stay calm, stay calm. He's into the nine. And that means that we have our winners already. This is an awful position for Sebastian Arenas. It's gone, this one. And into the 10, that's almost making it more painful. A 2-3-3 three, three for Colombia. A great score, but the USA brought it when it mattered with a perfect 60 in the fourth end. And the USA's Jimmy Lutz, Sora Sullivan and Nick Kappers subject to confirmation down the other end, but I think it's pretty clear, are the new Pan American champions. One drop point in the final end, making the difference. And here it is, confirmation that the USA are the compound men's team, Pan American champions of 2022.